subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Estuarine Crocodile. Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I just saw a big bird drop something. Do you want to help me look for it? You found it, Hero? Oh, it's an egg, but it's already empty. I wonder what was in it. What's the matter, Hero? Don't be sad about an empty egg. Ah, Hero! It's some kind of lizard. Are you okay, Hero? I wonder what kind of lizard this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. Did you find out what kind of lizard it is? Hi, Leo. As it turns out, it's not a lizard. It's a crocodile. And this one is an estuarine crocodile, also known as the saltwater crocodile. A crocodile in our garden? Wow! As a baby, it's very small, but it can grow up to five meters in length. That's huge! An estuarine crocodile must eat a lot to get to that size. The estuarine crocodile is a carnivore, which means it feeds on other animals. On almost every animal, it can even attack humans. Hmm. Where do estuarine crocodiles come from? Estuarine crocodiles can be found in the tropical parts of Southeast Asia, South Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. They usually live in mangrove swamps or estuaries. A mangrove swamp is a place in the tropics where trees grow thickly along a saltwater river or sea. An estuary is an area where a river meets the sea. We should go there and return the baby crocodile to its nest. Come and join us. Good thinking, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn What is it, Hero? A sign? Oh, it's warning us that there are crocodiles nearby I don't see any crocodiles But we'd better be careful, Katie Let's keep walking it says here that crocodiles are very good at hiding in water. We should also avoid thick vegetation where crocodiles could hide. So, if crocodiles are very good at hiding, does that mean there might be crocodiles here, but we just can't see them? Um, there might be, Leo. Wait, where's Hero? <laughs> Leo, humans can run faster than crocodiles on land. Let's hope so, Katie. Run! Oh no, another crocodile. Let's jump on these logs in the river. These aren't logs, Katie. They're crocodiles. Yikes! There's only one way out. Everybody, it's time to fly. found the baby crocodile's nest. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a baby estuarine crocodile in our garden. We learned that estuarine crocodiles live in a mangrove swamp or estuary. So we returned the baby crocodile to its nest in the mangrove swamp. Good job, children. 
You did it! You are amazing wildlife rangers! The Goliath Bird Eater Spider! Hi, everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm gonna explore the garden. I'll be using my magnifying glass to look out for interesting animals. Let's go! Hey, look at this. It's a spider's web. It's the spider. Spiders spin webs to trap insects for food. Let's look for other interesting animals, Hero. Look, it's a hole in the ground. Maybe a rabbit lives here. Listen, I hear the rabbit coming out. Here it comes. Yikes! <laughs> that's not a rabbit. That's a huge spider. Better keep a distance, Hero. I've never seen such a big spider before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, spider. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the spider? You're just in time, Leo. This is a Goliath bird eater spider. It's one of the biggest spiders in the world. Although it's called the Goliath bird eater, it almost never eats birds. Sometimes it eats baby birds and eggs, but mostly it eats small animals and insects found on the ground. The Goliath bird eater has venomous fangs, but it doesn't have teeth to chew with. So, after catching an animal, the spider releases juices onto the animal's body to make it soft. The animal's body will become soft enough for the spider to slurp up. The Goliath bird eater is such a good hunter that it doesn't need a web. It can sneak up and pounce on its prey. It will then bite and kill its prey with its venomous fangs. It's not deadly to humans, but it can be very painful. How come I've never seen such a large spider here before? That's because the Goliath bird eater is usually found in the northern part of South America, where it lives in the rainforests. Our garden is certainly not the place for such a giant spider. Let's bring it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. The ground is getting muddier. The jeep might get stuck in the mud. So let's continue on foot. Okay, Leo. What was that? <laughs> oh, it's a weasel. Weasels prey on Goliath bird eaters. It's moving so fast. I think it's trying to get the spider. Oh no. We should help the spider. Come on, Hero. Let's chase the weasels away. Wait, Leo. Remember what Ranger Rocky said? When the spider is defending itself from predators, it can release tiny, sharp hairs that are very painful. We should keep a distance. You're right, Katie. But what else can we do to scare the weasels away? I... I don't know. I can't find anything. I don't think we can scare the weasels away with water, Hero. Whoa! What are you doing, Hero? That's a great idea, Hero. It might work if we shoot the water out our bottles. Let's do it. Shoo, Weasel! Leave the spider alone! <laughs> we did it! The weasels are gone! <laughs> Here you go, Spider. Back into the tank. Look, it's digging a burrow to live in. We did it. We found a home for the Goliath bird eater spider. Yay! Yay! Goliath bird eater 
another spider in our garden. We learned that Goliath bird eaters dig burrows in the ground and that they live in the rainforests of South America. So we brought the spider back to the rainforest where it made a new burrow to live in. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Equatorial Spitting Cobra. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. I wonder where that frog is going. Let's follow it too. Careful, Hero. You'll scare the frog away. Huh? Something else is hidden inside the bush? Ah, a snake! Keep a distance, Hero. It's a snake in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Yikes! Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cobra you found is an equatorial spitting cobra, also known as a black spitting cobra. It is called a spitting cobra because it is able to shoot venom from its fangs. Venom is a toxin, like poison, and is found in some animals such as cobras. Venom can be passed to a person or another animal through a bite or sting. Many cobras defend themselves by injecting venom through their bite, but a spitting cobra prefers to spit or spray venom at a predator's eyes to scare them away. The spitting cobra wiggles its head the same way your eyes move. This helps the cobra's aim when it sprays its venom. That's scary! Actually, spitting cobras are shy animals. They only attack when they feel threatened. Still, equatorial spitting cobras can shoot venom up to three meters away, so it's best to keep your distance. I'll make sure to remember that, Katie. Equatorial spitting cobras live in different forests in Southeast Asia, where they eat small animals like lizards, frogs, and rats. Hmm, I don't think it's safe for us to be near the spitting cobra. We should return the cobra to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a special friend with you today. Here, you'll need these if you're going to be near that spitting cobra. Glasses? Safety glasses, Leo. The venom from spitting cobras can harm your eyes. That's why it's very important to wear these glasses for protection. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What's wrong with the cobra? The spitting cobra is getting into a defensive pose. Why does it keep flicking its tongue? Spitting cobras have a very good sense of smell. They use their tongues to pick up scents in the air. Do you think it might have picked up the scent of a predator? <laughs> <gasps> they don't look very friendly. They are mongooses. It says here that the mongoose is the cobra's natural predator. Did you see that? The cobra sprayed venom at that mongoose, but the mongoose looks fine. It says here the mongoose is resistant or immune to cobra venom. 
That means cobra venom has no effect on the mongoose. What do we do now? We're surrounded. I'll clear a path for us. Thanks, Katie. Hold on tight, everyone. Spitting Cobra's home. Great job, everyone. Yay! We found an equatorial spitting cobra in our garden. We learned that the spitting cobra can spray venom when threatened. That's why it's best to keep a safe distance from the spitting cobra. So we went to the forest and brought it to its natural home, far away from other humans. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The green iguana. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Those are juggling balls, Hero. Check me out. Can you pass me another ball, Hero? Thank you. This is getting difficult. Ah! Oh, dear. Let's find those balls, Hero. It's a lizard. Whoa, that's a strong tail. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, lizard. Hi, Katie. So what did you find about the lizard? Hi, Leo. This lizard is a green iguana also known as the common iguana. Some green iguanas come in different colors, and they can change their color when they get older. The green iguana you found is still young. An adult iguana can grow up to two meters long. Green iguanas are herbivores. They feed on leafy green plants, flowers, and fruits. Green iguanas can be found in rainforests of Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Green iguanas like to spend most of their time in trees. When they are high up in a tree, they can enjoy the sunlight. Sunlight helps them control their body temperature. Then we should bring our new friend back to the trees in the rainforest. Come and join us. The green iguana would love that, Leo. See you downstairs. This is a good spot for the green iguana. Enjoy, iguana! Let's hope this is the right place for it. <coughs> Look up there, Leo! It's a hawk, one of the green iguana's predators. Why is the green iguana not running away? Green iguanas blend well into their surroundings. They will stay very still until a predator passes them by. It's too late! Let's use our propellers and distract the hawk. Oh, no! Great move, green iguana! Its tail came off. Now let's get away from here. Poor iguana. Don't worry, Leo. Sometimes green iguanas drop their tails when they are trying to escape from a predator. This might help them get away. 
The iguana will even grow a new tail. Really? That's great to hear, Katie. We found the green iguana's home. Great work, everybody. Yay! <laughs> green iguana in our garden. We learned that green iguanas like to stay high up in trees to enjoy the sunlight. We also learned that green iguanas like to live near water. So when there's danger, they can escape by jumping into the water. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The honeybee. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I'm a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. It's a perfect day for a picnic. We have chocolate cookies, cakes, apples, and bananas. And look, I even have your favorite doggy snacks. Not so fast, Hero. We have to wait for Katie. Let me call her. A bee? Hey, don't go near the cakes. Hero, careful! You're knocking over all the food! I wonder where it came from. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This bee is a honeybee. A honeybee? Yes, a honeybee. There are many different types of bees, but this one is an eastern honeybee. It has distinct golden yellow and brown stripes across its body. Where do they come from? Eastern honeybees come from South and Southeast Asia. They can be found in many countries. There, the honeybees collect nectar from flowers by eating the nectar. When these worker honeybees return to the beehive, they give the nectar to other worker honeybees. These honeybees will put the nectar in the honeycomb cells and use their wings to fan it. This will change the nectar into honey. The bees will use the honey as a food source. So that's how honey's made. Hey, what kind of shape is that? That's a hexagon. Honeycomb cells are shaped that way because they use the least amount of beeswax to build a beehive. Honeybees prefer to build their beehives in small spaces, like hollow trees. Hmm. If we want to have a peaceful picnic, we should bring this honeybee back to its beehive. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Here we are at the flower field. I see flowers, butterflies, birds, but no bees. Let's try to look for a beehive in a tree. What is it, Hero? You already found a beehive? Great work. But this bee looks a bit different, though. Careful, Junior Rangers. That's not a honeybee. That's a wasp. And unlike the honeybee, a wasp can be very aggressive. Oh no! More of them are coming out! That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run! There's some water. Let's take out our snorkel masks and jump right in. That was 
close. Oh no, where's the honeybee? The jar is gone. It's the honeybee. She's hiding in a honeysuckle flower. Come in, honeybee. We'll make sure we stay far away from those wasps. Goodbye, bee. We did it. We found the beehive of the honeybee. Yay! We found a honeybee in our garden. We learned that honeybees have workers, a queen, and drones, and that they make honey. So we went to a forest and found a tree with a hollow that contains a hive. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.